Tehran Britain's Foreign Secretary, Boris Johnson, arrived in Tehran on Saturday as part of a three-nation tour of the Middle East, tasked with paying a huge outstanding debt to the Iranian government and with pushing for the release of a dual citizen jailed on sedition charges. Mr. Johnson's visit is his first to the region as foreign minister, and the first to Iran by a British foreign secretary since 2015, the Foreign Office said. He is expected to discuss the Iran nuclear agreement with his counterpart, Mohammad Javad Zarif, along with other issues such as regional security and the conflict in Yemen, which has spawned one of the world's worst humanitarian crises. My first visit is an opportunity to hold further discussions on a series of crucial issues, Mr. Johnson said in a statement including how we can find a political solution to the devastating conflict in Yemen and secure greater humanitarian access to ease the immense suffering there. I will also underline the U.K.'s continued support for the nuclear deal, while making clear our concerns about some of Iran's activity in the region. He said he would also stress my grave concerns about our dual national consular cases and press for their release where there are humanitarian grounds to do so. Relations between the two nations had been frosty since hardliners ransacked the British embassy in the Iranian capital in 2011. A move that led to its closing. Ties improved after Iran stuck a nuclear agreement with Western nations in 2015, but that pact is under scrutiny by President Trump, who has threatened to scrap it. The British Foreign Secretary, as well as representatives of other signatories of the agreement, China, France, Germany, and Russia have expressed full support for the deal. But the secretive trial and detention of Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe, 38, a citizen of both Britain and Iran, have deepened tensions between the two nations again. Many Iranian hardliners distrust Britain, accusing the country of having historically meddled in its affairs. They also view Ms. Zagari Ratcliffe as a spy. An employee of the Thomson Reuters Foundation, the independent charitable arm of the news agency, Ms. Zagari Ratcliffe was arrested in 2016 while she and her daughter, a toddler, were visiting family in Iran. Ms. Zagari Ratcliffe was sentenced to a five year prison term on charges of planning the soft toppling of Iran's government. This year, Mr. Johnson infuriated her family and those working to free her by saying she had been simply teaching people journalism in Iran. He was accused of worsening her plight, with Ms. Zagari Ratcliffe's employer, relatives, and local parliamentary representative saying his statement about her activities in Iran was false and had created additional risks for her. Days after Mr. Johnson's comments, Ms. Zagari Ratcliffe had a new court hearing, in which his words were cited as evidence that she had engaged in propaganda against the regime. The foreign minister later apologized for what he said had been a mistake. Mr. Johnson was now expected to lobby Mr. Zarif for the release of Ms. Zagari Ratcliffe and other dual citizens being held in Iran. Britain is considering settling a long standing debt to Iran by repaying about £400 million, or almost $537 million at current exchange rates, from a pre 1979 arms deal involving hundreds of chieftain tanks that were never delivered. Both Britain and Iran say the repayment would not be tied to Ms. Zagari Ratcliffe's case. Though the United States made a similar payment to Iran around the time of the release in 2016 of four American citizens. Ms. Zagari Ratcliffe's husband, Richard Ratcliffe, who had lobbied to join Mr. Johnson on the visit, has raised concerns about his wife's mental health, citing the growing toll of her prolonged incarceration in Tehran's notorious Evan prison. Mr. 
Radcliffe told British news outlets recently that his wife faced trial on new charges on Sunday that carry the possibility of 16 more years in prison. He has said he feared for his wife's health after finding out that she had been taken to a hospital to see a specialist after finding lumps in her breasts, according to the BBC. He also said he was concerned she might be on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Iran has held several foreigners on charges such as espionage, a continuing source of tension with Western nations, particularly the United States and Britain. Many of the detainees are Iranians with dual citizenship. But Tehran has signaled that it was willing to swap the detainees for Iranians held in the United States, in addition to seeking to clear old debts and the release of at least 14 Iranians it says have been unfairly imprisoned or prosecuted by the United States or its allies. At least four Americans and two permanent residents of the United States are known to be held in Iranian prisons. A fifth American, Robert A. Levinson, vanished in Iran more than a decade ago. Mr. Johnson's three day trip to the Middle East took him to Oman on Friday, and he is expected to move on to the United Arab Emirates on Sunday. The state run news agency IRNA said Mr. Johnson would also meet President Hassan Rouhani. His visit comes amid mounting anger and protest over President Trump's decision to move the United States Embassy in Israel to Jerusalem from Tel Aviv.